Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Make a UK Hardcore Track. So I have been working behind the scenes again. And what I've done is I changed a couple of things. But not too drastic this time. Um, what I've done first is I changed the lead. Because I didn't like it how it was before. It sounded a bit weird. So now it sounds like this. Just play one of the uh, stabs so you get an idea. So yeah, that just sounds better than the last lead. Um, I also changed the sounds. I just kept going through sounds until it sounded right. Uh, and then the next thing I changed is finally I changed the bass sound. Basically, I used a different sample. It was originally um, a hard style kick where the, the, the low end and the high end were cut. So you just have the middle section of that hard style kick. But it wasn't working. It was kind of bothering me. In the last session, actually, it just didn't sound right, so I did replace it with this one. And I give it a new, uh, another new bass sound here. This is like just decoration, but the, these two together just sounded better. Uh, I'll just give you a little example here. Yeah, for some reason it just sounds better in the mix as well. Especially these bass sounds. They were really bothering me. I really um there was really something messy with the last bass sounds. Also, I did give it a little mix. Uh all I was doing was just turning up uh, I think I turned up these stabs. Uh I turned up this, I turned up some of the effects here a little bit. Uh, I couldn't hear the crash hardly, so I turned it up a bit. Let me give you an example. You can hear it a bit better than what it was before. And yeah, uh, the vocals as well. Um, this first chorus now is a little different. Uh, I think the first, the, the original one had a couple more harmonies in. So what I did is I went back to the beginning of the track and used the first chorus. And the reason why is because I didn't want too much going on in the first chorus. So for example, you just mainly got her vocal without any harmonies until the end. And then by the time you get to the second chorus, you've got a lot more harmonies going on. And the third one, which will be the last one, uh, there's a little bit more again going on. So it's just kind of like, it's kind of, each time the, the chorus comes in, there's more harmonies going on. So yeah. Oh, and, and instead of having the lead come in here i thought it'd be better to get the vocal in and then have the lead and then it, it kind of gives the track a break from the vocals for this section here and then because they come straight in otherwise it was like the car is straight into these vocals and it just kind of gives it a little, nice little break so we are nearly done with this track um basically all i gotta do now is finish it <clears throat> it's not perfect uh, but I'm happy with it at this point. Um, again, it's not, it, although I did, like I've said in the first session, um, I did grow up with UK Hard House. It has changed a lot. And it's not really a genre I produce, to be honest, but it's been a nice, good experience, I'd say. You know, it's it's been nice going down memory lane and bringing some new elements into uh, this track. Because I have been listening to a lot of modern day uh, UK hardcore to get this track kind of right. Anyway, that's enough talking for now. I think what we're going to do is we are going to uh, work on this part here. This will be like the last 
covers, so we'll do that now.
Okay. It's all to me now. This sounds finished. Um, yeah. Again, apart from the vocals now that just need um, sorting out. Um, this is sounding pretty much done. Once the vocals are done, I think we're ready to mix and master it. Yeah, it's again, it's one of these tracks that I've spent probably way too much time on. Um, I could probably play around with this for, for weeks <laughs> if, I, if I had the time just to get it sounding exactly how I had it in my head. But overall, I'm happy with it. Um, this for me is quite a lot going on. Uh, track wise, automation wise, but it's it's not too bad. It's it's not perfect, but it it's it's good enough, you know. Um, probably if, if I was to come back to do another hardcore track, I would probably have a reference track, which is is something I need to start doing anyways. Just have a reference track. Any producers out there doing music, just starting off, always have a reference track to see uh, what's going on frequency wise eq wise and see how loud everything is but anyhow um let's just get on with these vocals and then um once we've done the vocals for this session i'll we'll call it there and then we will uh, get ready to uh, master it in the next one <laughs> It's 
so that will do. Um, basically, I was just levering uh, each little part here off. Um, and then I just put a compressor. Uh, where's it? Where's it? Okay, yeah. So I just put a compressor on the vocal bus, so it's just gonna uh, gel the 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 harmonies and the lead vocal together a bit and stop it getting too loud or quiet. So that's what the compressor's on there for, and yeah, that I think is that. So the next stage now is to mix. Well, it's kind of mixed, but I'll have a listen offline and um, make a decision if I want to do anything else. But this track does need to uh, <laughs> be finished now. So definitely, probably the next part will be the last part and we'll get ready, we'll get ready to master this. So uh, until then, guys, I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye for now.